Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Guys, make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to join the chatterbox with live streams with me and every other Dolly friend that is in that group, please join the chatterbox with the link in the description bar or the join button beside the subscribe button. Also, I do have merch, so you can get your merch. If you click on one of the items, you can see other stuff that may not be shown there, um, as well as like the uh, baby mask, well not baby mask, but mask, face mask, and um, other little stuff like that, tote bags, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, guys, you are watching Baby Phoebe. And Baby Phoebe is the Willow Awake, sculpted by Claire Teller and painted by myself. I am going to hope that she can fit this zero to three month in Burt Bees. Burt Bees can be tricky with their sizes. Um, sometimes they fit big, sometimes they fit, sometimes they fit big, sometimes they don't. I know, it's just, sometimes they run a little small. It's like, you never know with birdies. So I am going to see. I don't typically like zippers, but I didn't know when I ordered this. I didn't, it was, I don't know, I just, I guess I just overlooked the fact that this was, um, I guess it depends on what size it was. It became in a little, like a sleeper, because I actually thought it was a two-piece. It was gonna be a two-piece, but this is what I got when it arrived. So, I don't mind because I love her in sleepers. So, her feet actually fits pretty good in here, let's see. So, all right. So this is her foot, so it's almost there. So that's pretty good considering the fact that when you have real babies, they never really totally fit their clothes like to a T. So I am actually dressing her in this because me and Gabby both have on <laughs> the same um, pajama set. <laughs> So, and we're getting dressed for the day. <laughs> this is this is our indoor wear pajamas. Don't judge us. Gosh, this this thing is tight right here. I don't really like that. Yeah, sometimes the sleeves and stuff I don't like when they be really tight because you gotta make sure that you are not ripping off a finger. <laughs> so stupid, cause I'd be like counting like, okay, there's a pinky, there's a thumb, and I'm feeling inside here. Um, I know somebody's gonna comment and say, you can use hand mitts. I don't like to use the hand mitts. I like to be able to feel my baby's fingers because even with the hand mitts, sometimes you don't feel what you're doing you can still damage the doll so i like to be able to feel feel and count the fingers baby all right here we go now and this can flip down but she's past the point of scratching her face now hey little girl <laughs> Oh, she gave me, did y'all see that look she gave me when I turned her head? Baby had an attitude, for real. You mad? You big mad, Phoebe? She said, girl, don't touch my face like that. I bit people for less. Okay. Girl, this this little thing, this is not the, child, y'all probably like, ooh, child's friend of this struggling. This is too much. Lord, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. 
I can't take it. Well, you could do that. That was smart. I should have been dead that, shouldn't I? Oh, that was so easy if I would have just flipped it down. Wow. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave it flipped down, actually. And I think that thing said something about flipping it down. Oh, well. All right. Well, I'm going to flip this one down, too. Boom. <laughs> Look, girl, you have stressed me out. I am, like, sweating. I'm already going through hot flashes. This is not working. Me and you is having a fallout. Okay, so she can fit the 0 to 3 in the bird bees. Yes, because this 0 to 3, to be honest, is big. This is really big for a 0 to 3 month. This, well, it say, I think it says 0 to 3 is technically 3 months. But, yeah, this is definitely big but a lot of people the willows are good sizes but a lot of people like um think they're bigger than what they are anyway like she's still a baby that would be like maybe two two months old what eight weeks old um eight to twelve weeks old so a lot of people assume that they're bigger than what they are like they're not like in six months and they still their body style and their body sculpting and stuff everything is really still very baby very very baby so that's you know that's the thing they're not gigantic dolls like some people make it out to be and i i just love that's the you know the thing the thing about um Claire dolls, and this is for the new people and everybody that's on their hate hater train. Y'all better jump off right now because I'm finna um, talk about my favorite artist for a minute. The thing about her sculpts is that they're very proportionate and very realistic. Like um, the one thing that you know, I love some of the other sculptors, like faces and stuff like that. But the one thing that that um, it's something that means something to me. It may not mean nothing to you guys, but I like a realistic body style. And um, even when people like copy Claire's dolls, because people in this community, unfortunately, some people can't sculpt. They just piece dolls together from other sculptors and stuff like that. That's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. But even when they do that, because they be piecing it together and they don't, it don't, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it it's not the same as getting an original sculpt. And the, um, I looked at one the other day with a willow head. They, they copied the willow head and the body, you can see where the legs was attached and it just, I don't know. It just look a hot mess. And for me, that matters to me because I do a lot of changing videos. I do a lot of, you know, interactive videos and I can't have a baby that doesn't fall realistic or look realistic in my videos and even outside my videos it will irritate my soul so I can't <laughs> I just I, I can't <laughs> it's not that I'm a doll snob I just want my money's worth you know what I mean so that's the one thing I really you know like about Claire um, Taylor's kits and um, now the Tate's and the Sage I felt like the legs was a little too short but they still work like they were cute they're very cute and they're very nice in dresses and rompers and they're like summer babies to me but you know you know it's not like she's a perfect person like none of us but um for me the willows like have like the perfect body the other thing that i appreciate about her um kits and also i can say this even about Lillian kits as far as um, the availability. I know that there's a limited edition and because everybody try to go after the kits, it takes, you know, if it's only 30 kits or 15 kits, you know, that's not a lot for the whole world, of course, because she don't run them unlimited. And I don't know how to feel about the unlimited thing. Like one part of me think, okay, it would be great for me as a painter. If I was painting a sale, I would love for to have at least, you know, one 
or to, you know, kits that you can always go and order, you know what I mean? But then I don't know, like, I like the fact that they have limited edition kits. Like, for instance, the Tiana's, like, it's a million of them out there. There's nothing in, there's no rare form of that kit. There's 1,500 boys, 1,500 girls. I mean, and I'm exaggerating with the numbers, but you know what I'm saying? So every time you turn around, that's what you're seeing. It takes, to me, it takes down the value of the doll. But not only that, I like the access. Like, you know, when Claire does her kit, she put them in her, well, she's been putting them in her store or before, you know, you pick and the first one first come serve. It's not like, oh, you get a kit, you get a kit, oh, you too dark, you don't get a kit, you too, yeah, you don't get a kit, you too light, you don't get a kit. You know, it's not, oh, I don't like you, my friend don't like you, you don't get a kit. It's like, whoever money buy it out that cart, that's who get it. And that's what I like about their kits. Um, as well as, um, like I said, Claire and Lillian, they'll sell to anybody pretty much. And so I like that. And then, you know, for me, like, I really like the idea of, because with Reborns, you don't have to worry about it for the most part. You just go and you order and you don't have to deal with anyone on a one-to-one -one basis. It's nothing personal. It's just business. It's like you're just shopping online to any other store. With other sculptors, there's a lot of politics. I've actually heard people say, um, I've actually heard people say, oh, I won't sell my kits to painters that just started painting. Well, who the heck are you to, to, to deny me the chance to paint a kit? Like, if I mess up, it's on me. What does that got to do with you? So, you know, it's like, why your kit needs somebody that's highly skilled to paint it? That's questionable in itself. You know what I mean? Like, if you got to have somebody that really got to know all these fancy tricks to paint your kit, then that means something ain't right with your, your kit. Or at least that's the way I'm going to take it. So, thank you, but no thank you. And sometimes, you know, when people deny you of buying stuff, they think they're hurting you. But actually, you're doing me a favor because I would hate to have to have someone's kit on my platform, showing it off my friends going to buy it, you know, because they see it, they like it, da 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 and you absolutely have nothing but hate and animosity in your heart for me, and here I am boosting your sales unknowingly, yeah, no thank you. I am actually appreciate the fact that they don't let me get their kit. And I say that because I have a particular two sculptors that actually does this, and, um, I'm perfectly okay with it. And the reason why, like I said, is because, hey, anything, when, when I got those Tiana, that Tiana on my thing, which I regret, like, dub, you know what, that I did that, everybody and their mama went and ordered t Tiana's. Not saying that I, they wasn't selling before then, but I'm telling you, a lot of people went and ordered Tiana's from the same artist that I used and everything, and you guys know it. So, but that sculptor, Act like she didn't want to sell to me after I wanted to buy one to paint for myself. So, you know, I can appreciate people that just sell and don't have no personal qualms in anything. So, like, McPherson is now have, like, partial kits and stuff like that. And I, I like that. I like that they have it available for you to just put it in the cart. My only pet peeve with that right now and I, I sent the message to ask about this is the fact that there is no they don't open the mouths and they don't insert the eyes and just you know as a painter I don't I don't know nothing about cutting out no eyes for no silicone and sealing no locking no eyes in silicone I guess it's something I need to learn but I just don't want to do that like I feel like I'm jeopardizing the integrity of the kit itself and then cutting the mouth out, cutting it open just to put the pacifier, I, I, yeah, no, that's not, I'm not doing it. So I haven't bought one of their kits because of this. And I'm sure there's other people that haven't because of this as well. So I feel like once they give that option of opening the mouths or inserting the eyes for you, I think that that would even open up more opportunities for people. And just think partial silicones are like, $850, you know, and, and down, like, you know, 
So you can experience part of the silicone, the feel, the um, the open mouth, you know, just the squishy, cuddly. And I'm telling you, partials are like amazing. They're like having the best of both worlds. So I think that brings great opportunity for people because let's say if you get a partial and then get it painted, you probably can get a partial painted and rooted and everything for like under $2,000. So versus a full body where you're going to pay $5,000 and up, there you have it. You got one, you got something for possibly between $1,500 to $2,000 for the most part. I, I like it. So I think it's a great idea. So anyway, um, this video did not go in the direction that it was supposed to go in. In fact, I was just supposed to come on and just change her. And then I was going to do a sit down with her so you guys can see our matching outfits. Girl, what? But guess what? Guess I'm going to have to do that in another video, honey. Because don't worry about it. I'll be wearing this all day. So I got all day to come back. Oh, God. <laughs> all right um guys let me know what you think in the comment section i am really loving the, the the comments that you guys are leaving i mean you guys are really giving me some good conversation in the comment sections and i'm really loving it i'm catching up i'm a little behind on the last comments um just because i am trying to go ahead and finish up this silicone baby getting ready for that matting process you know the matting process is a real beast um but yeah, and I, you know, I'll never paint silicone in on camera because, you know, I have to fully concentrate and I'm like a ditzy person. I have to, I can't chew bubblegum and walk at the same time, but I am thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll paint my reborns or something. People like watching it. I like watching it sometimes, but you know, I don't know, you have to be having good conversation and I kind of get nonverbal when I'm painting, so... I don't know, but it's just a thought, something to think about. But anyway, guys, let me know what you're thinking, what your thoughts is on, you know, the supply and demand on kits and, you know, just blank kits. Is it hard to even get those? Because I know as people are saying it's hard to get painted babies, but just the blank kits itself, I find that, you know, in silicone, it is just as much of a challenge. Like, dang, you can't even get a blank. You know what I mean? So, unless it looked like some type of alien or something like that, yeah, you can get them all day. But, uh, anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later.